Hello, this is Haku the Bean, and I am here with r slash Tumblr. We're tumbling around again today. If you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And with that out of the way, let's get right into this. Just so we're all on the same page with the Rare Strike. If during the strike is announced about AI generated shows, we are not watching them. Not even out of curiosity. Let them fail. Every AI generated show. Oh, they, they tried to make. The human voice cannot be replaced by AI. Don't let them try. No hate watching. No freaking hate watching. <laughs> what slurs have you used? Every morning I stand in front of my mirror and say all of them. Alphabetically or chronologically? How do you say slurs chronologically? I have no idea. It's so stupid. AHG is a dozen vaguely related neurosis and a trench coat, including such properly hits as can't freaking sleep disorder, can't freaking wake up of disorder. What is a focus? Oops, I did it again. Spent 13 in hours on YouTube and forgot to eat or drink. The world is too noise today. All my friends and hate me. I just deduced this from a three word text. I forgot about thing literally as soon as I turned around. And they decided to call it trouble sitting still disorder? Crazy. The famous female pirates, Mary Reed and Aunt and Bonnie, discovered each other's real genders. They were disguising themselves as men. So when Bonnie told Reed that she was attracted to her, causing Reed to reveal herself as female all as well. It's true, by the way, I did a report about Aunt and Bonnie in school, and Reed had actually liked her, her back, so they ran away together and were considered the, most, the two most terrifying pirates across the seven seas. Lesbian pirates, give us this film. Just FYI, many of the illustration, many of the illustrations and and statues of them show them with their breasts exposed. This is not because they are sexualizing lesbians, because these women often used to wear uh, to open their shirts and expose their breasts when they killed a man, just so the man's dying thought would be the realization that he was killed by a woman. Ooh, good idea, but also. Free titty to ooh, random men I killed? Nah, not so oh, fun anymore. Sidebar. My favorite thing about concerts in my hometown of Albany, of Albany, Albany New York, is, brand, is bands who aren't familiar with the area just don't understand how wildly apathetic about Albany, Albany, Albany we all are honorable. On to act. Like in that whole key boss and weird slogan thing with the bumper stickers and murals, etc. But we don't care enough to actually enter the slogan here. But if you look around for or long enough, you'll probably encounter a keep album Albany boring bumper or sticker. We're really proud and protective of album and the I hate this name. Just being straight up meh. As a result, well, I've experienced the same phenomenon in, in these ranging from stadium skill oh, to basement shows. A band rolls into town, the frontman goes, Whoa, how we doing, Albany? 
And then, like, there's a grammar from the crowd about created by two or three tiny, extremely apathetic woos. So goddamn vast. Whoops. Gorillas make up little food songs while they eat. Listen to them here. According to an article by Brian Owens in New Scientist, a German scientist working in the Congo has discovered a fun new fact about gorillas that they hum and even sing during meal times. It's like they sing the same song over and over, commented in Lua. It seems they are composing their little food songs. All according to Al Alivella Irving of the Toronto Zoo, each girl has its own voice. You can really tell who's singing. If it's a fair food, they sing louder. I do think there is a difference between how men and women are socialized to express emotions, but I cannot stand when men twist is that to imply that little girls are never told to stop crying or women just have a peachy, easy experience, easy time expressing emotion while men are forced to suffer in silence. Like literally women and girls are constantly told that we're hysterical and overdramatic and irrational for expressing, for expressing emotion. And we explicitly get taken less seriously than men and do when we express emotion. Be for real. Oh. So cute. Don't worry, he's just taking his big dogs to the dog park. Ugh. Clifford and Cerberus would be friends. Why does this remind me of Clifford? I thought that was Clifford at first. It's my man Clifford! Clifford has competition. I love the new Clifford reboot. Man's enforced. Wow, I love your doggy! They say to each other. Oh my goodness, their doggies are so cute. No more Cerberus as the demon version of Clifford, my friends. Clifford is a well-known and notorious hellhound. The, um, the two most traumatized and deranged dudes in the world both think, think they can fix each other. Or 50 million dead, 80 million injured. New chess rules. The queens cannot kill each other because they are lesbians having an affair. You have to pick two pieces secretly to be secretly in love and they can't kill each other either. You have to make horse noises whenever you move the night. The bonds of a union, if you sacrifice too many of them, they will revolt. You have to have gay sex when you're done playing. I think I'm with these rules. Slurs and how to use them. This is part of the tutorial in League of Legends. I bet it is. I don't play that crap. <laughs> Please Joe Oi Pokey as he found the meat I'm defrosting. Oh, the frosting meat, we're really in it now. None of y'all know what propaganda actually is, do you? It's when a British person takes a good look at something. This is literally the absolute funniest thing anyone has ever added to one of my posts. Thank you for your service. 
get propaganda. Take a death note variant. You can have death note but makes people gay, death note but makes people straight, or oh, that's just boring. Death note but makes people trans, death note but makes people gay. I was already there. Death note but it makes people shit themselves, death note but makes their Wi Fi signal terrible, death note but gives people constant phantom cat pee set. Well, death note but makes people allergic to their favorite food. Death Note, but they post their whole camera roll to every social media site. Death Note, but it makes people illiterate. The last one is just uh, as everyone all the time anyway. Especially in... Especially every politician. Don't bother using the last one on a politician, they already are illiterate. The Frodo in the Indo-European War... Earth for Heart... Earth... Equos... Which showed up in other you know, old European languages such as the Latin and Equus and the Greek. I'm not even going to try to read that. Very possibly comes from an adjective of Equus meaning swift. So basically, at some point, people were coming up with a word for the horse, and they were like, it's a thing that goes new. Pro your Indo European dude number one. Hmm. What should we call this animal? Let's call them Speedy Boys because they're fast. Shit, dude, they sure are. <laughs> Chapter one The building was on fire, and it wasn't my fault. Good way to start a book. Me as a screw up protagonist. Hmm. When I'm listening to my own library and playlists, I feel like a powerful wizard. But when I'm trying to share my music taste to anyone, it feels like I have a shame cone on. The only difference between a wizard hat and a dunce cap is a wide frame of privacy. The term concept of red lowering gunshots has seeped into my mental vocabulary and I've welcomed it there. Something I'm up to is weird and gross? Good. Keeps red low. Oh. Keeps judge people out. Post weird shit on your blog, do weird shit to your hair, be as fuck e as your heart wants to be. If you're not the one making the profit, make yourself unprofitable. The of hose matism of brightly colored creatures is there to warn predators, not friends. You have no more obligation to make yourself palatable for those who would consume you. Me. It doesn't have a tail, so I'm pretty sure it's a hamster. Er, tax support. Okay, fine. Right click the hamster. I was gonna say that. Uh, does it have a tail, and that's what the cord is. That's why it's called a mouse. I did not remember. Most mouses are cordless now and get and fucked up because it is. And got fucked up because it is a hamster. And now I'm fucked up because, like, technology has advanced so much that at, at the. So much that mice have changed species. May I ask me that y'all know I was a wizard. I was wizard high when I wrote that. Alright, I think it's gonna be the last one for today. I'm getting really sleepy. Where was that dedication to both? Or trying and A. Jonah Jameson as a complex three dimensional character with likable traits and sympathetic qualities. It's really funny because it's led to the creation of a character who unfailingly stands for truth and integrity in journalism. Except for this one specific dude, he is absolutely convinced is putting chemicals in 
the water to, to turn the frogs gay. Spider-Man is putting chemicals in the water to turn the frogs gay. Of course. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll be sure to make more videos like this tomorrow. Until then, goodbye.